imagine a man who has spent 51 years with his wife 51 years they've been living together with their children and then you just discovered probably after 30 bringing up a child or children for the past 30 years you just discovered that these children are not yours hello my amazing and wonderful viewers welcome back to my channel yes guys this is one of the reasons why a lot of people especially our african brothers both home and abroad this era now is the era of dna most of them are of the opinion that it is very very good in fact it is important for you as a guy as a man to have the dna of your children done because you want to make sure that the children you are taking care of the children you are bringing up today biologically truly belong to you you don't want to bring up uh, another man's child or another man's children and then tomorrow the reverse is the case they'll come and claim the children for you so they have the opinion that if you are a man even if your wife just gave birth today is your wife you are married legally married that it is advisable for you to go for a dna test now why are they saying all this so i've got a video today for you guys i saw this video on the cyberspace you know when i saw this man talking this man was talking from a place of pain you know even though he wasn't crying but you can see that this man is deeply in pain what actually happened before we go further if you are meeting me for the first time you are welcome to my channel yes guys my name is Joan Ekeke and I'm based here in England. What I do on this channel, I bring you videos, I bring you gist, I bring you news, bring you news of Nigerians, Africans that are based here in the UK and other parts of the world. So if you are interested in content like this, subscribe to my channel before leaving this channel. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are awesome. Thanks for always coming back to check on my video. With that being said, let's go straight into the video let's hear from uh daddy he's a white man i'll be back with the rest of my thoughts in this very video i have been married for 51 years got two sons 42 and 40 them dead beats i'm still supporting the little boogers Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. <laughs> of course, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. Hell, I thought they took after their mother. Instead, they take after the plumber or the postman or the milkman. Or Yeah, they were milkmen back when they came around. I mean, God only knows. <laughs> it sure gets old. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. And they ain't the same. She was bopping a couple of different guys. But if I could figure out who they were, I've been practicing law, law long enough that I pretty well figure I could sue their ass and get all my money back that I sunk into those two dead. It just chaps my that she couldn't tell me. I'd probably forgiven her. Maybe not. You know how it is. Hell, yeah, boys, y'all need to go get your own paternity test. You can't tell how, by looking who's the daddy unless you're looking down at the genetic level. I've been in court thousands of times in paternity suits. And four out of five times, guy says he ain't the daddy, he's right. And the genetic test is the only way to prove it for sure. These women are hopping everything that looks fun. You thought you liked. 
<laughs> you ain't nothing. Well, I, I guess that pretty well completes that story. I'll go home, start drafting up some divorce papers. See if I can't get free of that c I mean, I stayed with her for the sake of the children and the grandchildren. Now the great-grandchildren. But they ain't no kin of mine. Welcome back, guys. I hope we've seen the video you heard from the man. After 51 years of marriage, he's just discovered that the two children that the wife had for him are not his. They belong to the wife as boyfriends. This has happened a lot. Yeah, it's not the first time. This has happened a lot. Whereby we see that probably, especially this jackpot season, when they go for DNA, because you guys know that they will actually demand for DNA. If you are a man, you are you are going to the abroad with your fam as a family. They want to see the DNA of the children to to be sure that these children truly belong to you. That you are not trying to traffic or trying to take someone else's child or children with you to the abroad. So a lot of people have been going for DNA, and we've discovered that quite a number of them, the children that they claim to be that of the man are not his we've seen a lot of cases in nigeria whereby they will say the man just collapsed and that was it because he has been living with those children right from their beds and up to the moment that they had the dna test done and all of a sudden he just discovered probably after 15 20 years you discover that the children that you have been looking after the children you've been bringing up they do not belong to you that is very devastating as a man you know it is very sad so when i saw this video i was like oh no wonder a lot of african men these days they said they want dna they want dna even if they have the wife in the house they are living together they will still secretly go for dna because most of them now they don't trust the women anymore because of cases like this imagine a man who has spent 51 years with his wife 51 years they've been living together with their children and then you just discovered probably after 30 bringing up a child or children for the past 30 years you just discovered that these children are not yours how does that really sound it's really devastating it is sad it is sad we can do better we can do better as women if you ask me i really feel for this man because the way he was talking the way he was speaking was speaking with so much pain so much pain he's just trying to be a man by not crying i know if that man was to be a woman should have been crying all over the place you know sharing a story but because he's a man he's, he's only trying to be a man a superman but you know when you look carefully into his eyes you will see the pain in his eyes that is very very pain it is sad it is sad especially those of them in fact i don't want to say something that people will start saying that joan what are, why are you talking like this i'll just end the video here yeah? well it is very painful i just pray god will give him the heart to bear this um unfortunate um story of fortunate incidents it is very very sad may god comfort him and you know see him through imagine you you have the hope that okay i have children i have two children and that man is is not a 60 years old man that man is more than 60 and then you just discover that you have no child of your own it is very very sad it is pathetic i pray god will give him the strength to come out of this strongly in jesus name amen let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section i will see you in my next update i remain drawn a keke have a wonderful day bye <laughs>